Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here, and today we're working in the requested tutorial section at developphp.com where Damien Webb asks, what is the best way to format text inside Flash? Easy updatability is important here. I was following a tutorial I found on Google and it outlined a way to use HTML tags in a text document and upload it to your Flash file, blah blah blah, didn't work, or at least I can't get it to work. All it does is display HTML coding as well as my text, no formatting whatsoever. So I responded with, okay, I'll make a tutorial and I mentioned that I was going to suggest make the field render as HTML text within Flash which is probably what he's missing just that little part but I decided that I want this whole example to be archived at developphp.com with the rest of our working with external files in Flash so that's what we're going to be learning today is how to, ex how to format external text with HTML tags and then bring it into Flash and render it out with those with that formatting in place okay so here on my desktop I have a folder and inside that folder I have my text file which is what his text file would be like and inside of the text file you can see I have HTML formatting on that text now let's go into flash and let's make it render out correctly let's go ahead and close that up I'm working in Flash CS3, but you can be in Flash CS4 and CS5, and this Action Script 3 will work exactly the same with the text field. So let's create a new Action Script 3 project. Let's go to File, Save As, and let's put it in that same folder on the desktop with that text file. Call this My Flash File. Save. Okay, ducky. Okay. Now let's create a new layer. So we have two layers. On the top one, let's call this AS3, short for Action Script 3. And this one, let's call this Stage Elements. I'm going to put the text field there. Let's go ahead and grab dynamic text and let's put some text in it. You can see it's set to black and 12 point. Let's give it an instance name of my text underscore txt. We're going to make sure we use the HTML property in the code on this text field. That way it properly renders all that HTML text coming in. All right, so you set the size or whatever. And I'm also going to show you how to use from the components library this text area, which is a very easy way to get a nice scroll bar on the text field in case that happens to be a lot of text coming in from that external text file it'll automatically put the scroll bar on it for you if it happens to be more text than the field can handle the field's height can handle okay so we have instance name on this so our code can communicate with this text field now all we have to do is pop in the code so let's go to the action script 3 layer now let's open our actions panel by clicking actions here or the window actions or you can just hit F9 okay so here's the simple code that's going to bring in the text file let me explain it real quick first we create a variable called loader and that's going to be a new URL loader object and inside of that new URL loader object we have a new URL request object and that one's going to be calling in the external text file that I was just showing to you guys that's in the same folder as this flash file now all we have to do is say loader.addEventListener event.complete and that has a function that's going to fire off when that event is complete the loading of that text file the function that fires off is named complete handler so that function complete handler sitting right there so function complete handler runs and inside of it there's two little lines and here I just added a new URL loader object and I set it for event.target which is basically this text file. When the text file is completely loaded in, this complete handler runs. Inside this complete handler function, we create a, a URL loader object and we call it loaded text, and that gets the event.target. Now all we have to say is my text underscore txt dot html text equals loaded text dot data, which is the data from that external text file. And you can see here I'm using the HTML property of this dynamic text field and that's going to be essential here for what we want to do. If I had it like normal just 
HTML underscore txt dot text it's going to show the tags and everything and we don't want that so we want the HTML text property set and then it'll display like we want so let's see if it gives us the results that we were looking for let's press control enter or you can press F12 to publish it out and there you go now you can see that our link I set a link here here is some text that I want a link on once it loads into flash you can see that it's not blue or underlined but it is in fact a link when I click it it takes me to develop PHP so I'll show you how to get that blue and underlined okay let's go back into our external text file let's find that link there it is you see the a tag right there so we can just grab the font tag right there let's go over where the link is a href right there right inside of the link tag we're gonna put this font tag we don't want that sizing to be any different but we do want the color to be blue so let's just change this hex value to a blue color instead of the red now we gotta make sure we close the font tag before the link tag closes there we go and now we want to underline it make sure it's underlined and blue so we can just easily put in the underline tag there and close that off as well see we're using regular HTML formatting press control S to save it back in flash let's render this out again see what happens control enter you see now it's nice and blue just like a regular HTML link would be and it opens up to any web page that you want you can see this has a bigger text in the heading this has a little bit larger text and it's red because that's what we assigned within the text file okey-dokey so that's pretty much it now in the flash file let's say you had a whole lot of text and your text build could only be that big or maybe that big we press control enter you can see it's like it's it's no scroll it's gone it, it'll scroll but people won't know that it's scrollable they'll just see that and they won't realize they can stick their mouse in there and easily scroll it it might not be that intuitive for a lot of users so what you can do is zap this out control X just get rid of that field put in the component of text area now watch this let's make this uh, I don't know 380 let's make this I don't know maybe about 180 let's give it the instance name my text underscore txt which that code is communicating to bring the data into press control enter and you see there now it's got a scroll bar which is much more intuitive don't you think yes and it can scroll with the mouse just like that or they can drag I think that's a lot more intuitive if you happen to be working in a space or a text field that doesn't have the height that'll that'll hold all of the text that you want to load in so that's pretty much all you need to know about it so I'll have these source files wrapped up in a nice download package so you guys can get to them and check it out okay peace